It's a slow Tuesday in the cave, we've got just three games to tell you about, but they're all pretty special. My name is Andrea Sashenko and you're watching the KHL Update. Our first stop is in Beijing, China, where Kunlun Red Star take on Vitas. It's the first meeting between the two in history. We go to Los Port Center for the action. Vitas enjoy a strong finish of the first period of play. 15 minutes in, Roman Hork sends Alexei Makeyev finner a breakaway, and he makes no mistake. It's a 4 on 4 goal, and Vitas lead 1 0. And less than 3 minutes later, Alexei Makeyev scores his second of the night and 16th of the season. What a year this guy is having. Vatsina Finagana picks up an assist on the play, and it's 2 0 Vitas after 20. Early in the second period, Makeyev has an excellent chance to complete his hat trick as he gets the puck for Maxima Finagana from the 2 on 1 rush, but it's stopped by Tommy Karpanen. Kunlun get a goal back 7 minutes into the period. Linus Vidal fits Chad Rao, and he one times at home fast to Grissa Brickin. But that's all they're gonna get tonight. Vitas end their two game losing streak as they take it 2 1 on the road. Travel 2 for now, where Salavatu Life meets Bardak Moscow. And the red and white strike first and fast, just 27 seconds in. Vladislav Provolnov takes a hard shot from the point, and Ryan Stoll tips it in for his 22nd goal of the season. 1 0 Spartak. Just after that, Evgeny Bodrov elbows Alexander Vasilov in the head, and he's not getting away with that. Bodrov gets 5 in a game for that, leaving his teammates to kill off a long penalty. They do well, but still allow a goal at the very end of it. Dmitry Kalinin dishes it over to Ryan Stoa, he takes a shot, and Dmitry Kalinin knocks it in for the 7th. Spartak lead 2-0 now. But then everything turns inside out in the second frame. Just 46 seconds in, Salva get a powerful goal of their own. Thomas Merrill puts it home from the slot to make it 2-1. Four minutes later, Salva are on the rush, it's looking good. Linus Sumer takes a shot, it's stopped, but Kirill Kaprizov buries the rebound. He topped the line as World Juniors in goals and points, and he cashes in in his first game back. We're at tight two now. Late in the period, Caprizov scores another one. And again, it's off Linus Olmux's assist, his third of the night. Salva grabbed the lead with Caprizov 17th of the year. And late in the period, they improved their lead to two goals as Alexander logging up one time at home. Cross ice pass was made by no other but Kirill Caprizov. Both him and Omar get 3 points in the second period, and it's 4-2 Salavan after 40. The red and white get back within a goal late in regulation. Alexei Kirillov scores the second of the year from the doorstep. They're down by just one, and there's still time on the clock. Spartak pulled the goal for the extra attacker, but that only looks to an empty matter by Denise Kalash. Kapriza prejudices his fourth point of the night on the play, and this one is over. Kirill Kapriza returns with a bang as Salavan to life beats Spartak Moscow 5-3 on all lines. The game of the day takes place in Chilabia and Structure begin their 70th anniversary festivities with a retro theme game against Torpedo. The theme of tonight's game is the 60s. Pretty exciting, right? We got no score in the first, so let's pick it up from the second. Meter to the period, Torpedo explodes with two goals in the span of 20 seconds. First liner of the losers scores his 8th of the year. Brandon McMillan gets the primary assist while 17-year-old rookie Dmitry Rudionachev picks up his first career KHL point on the play. And just 20 seconds later, Alexei Potapov makes a cross-ice pass to Evgeny Moser and he sends it in from Ovechkin's office. Moser nets his 5th and Torpedo takes a 2-0 lead. Moving on to the 3rd period, Instructor brings the hometown crowd to their feet. Dmitry Pistonov moves the puck to the blue line to Artem Barotkin, he passes it back to Pistonov, he shoots from the point, and it hits the target, it's 2-1 now. Light on regulation, truck to get a man advantage and they tied the game up. This time it's Konstantin Klimentov who gets it to go with a point shot. That's his force of the season, and this one is going to overtime. Nine seconds of the extra period of play, Derek Roy has the puck, he digs and dangles around the net, Kirill Kotov was waiting for a pass to an open net shot, but Roy decides to go in for the kill and he gets stopped by Ilipo Spirikov, probably should have passed it. He goes to the shootout and Kaspers Daugavich scores the winner, he needs a bath after best too, so dirty. Drop to salvage a point, but Torpedo still walk away with the W, 3-2 shootout final on this one.
And that's it for your LKHL update. Come back tomorrow though for six more games, including Mavishak Boris and SKA St. Petersburg versus Avangard. My name is Andrea Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.